Welcome to the show. It's back. Two back. black guys. Two black guys. Table talk and a mixed girl. <laughs> Boo! Mixed girl. <laughs> Welcome to the show, T. Welcome to the show. Uh, so we have so many people, man, we thankful for that are watching this, giving us good feedback, giving us good suggestions, throwing out different yeah. topics, throwing out uh uh just just everything, yeah. man. Like even the comments, just if you do comment, what I recommend is go all in, elaborate. Like, it, it, like if you really like something, say mm-hmm. why. Feel me? If you dislike it or you disagree with us, just say yeah. why. Because those are things that we're gonna use for topics. Yeah. Like, like that's just more stuff that we want to talk about. So in today's episode, we got a guest. This is my daughter. This is who I'm ref like referencing to. All, all the time. Uh, we got a few guests today. Later on in another episode, we got a little surprise for the folks out there. Yes, sir. So we'll have more, and it's going to continue on. Like, this is just what we don't. It's fun. We enjoy it. Um, if you want to be on, just request it. We might let you on. <laughs> we might not, but we might let you on. All right? So, to kick it off, today, our first topic is going to be rankings. Rankings, bro. Mm. So, we got, like we all know, there's prep, hoops, there's Colorado prep, there's rival, there's ESPN, Mountain Wet. Everybody got one. Everybody got one. Everybody got one. So, let's say how, to the other black guy, how do you feel that the rankings are like should we put a lot of emphasis in them should we not should we care at all or should we not so normally i would say yes we should care however due to the way they've been ranking them lately uh-huh they're they're ranking a lot of kids and they're not <laughs> they haven't watched them facts so, so how do you rank somebody and you haven't seen them it's what they hear Yes. And and I know a lot of these coaches out here, they have, you know, personal vendettas or whatnot. Dang, you going deep? Yeah, it, it's, Dang. It's, it's out there. I mean, but like I said, we're supposed to look up to these rankings, but a lot of them in Colorado, they're they're being shysty. Okay. They're being shysty. They're not being they're not being true. To uh, figuring out or doing their homework or their background, so okay. you'll get somebody. Let's say I don't know the the, the writer or whatnot, the author. Yeah. Yeah, he the might writer. be from Gunnison, yeah. So he yeah. he can't see everyone, yeah. So he might call the local guy. That's what he's know, doing, right here. He's, yeah, he's calling somebody like, "Hey, who's your guys out there?" Yeah, yeah. And the the person who he's calling, who he or she's calling. They have that personal vendetta. Because mm-hmm. they already have yeah. who they want to be ranked. Correct. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. that's where the, the flawness comes in. Yeah. Which, it, it, it sucks. You know, it. you know you have a lot of kids, like we alluded to a couple episodes ago, that should be on there, and they're not. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, which is kind of, it's, it's frustrating. All it's right. frustrating. So back to, do should we go off of it? We should, but in this current situation i will be telling kids hey don't put so much stock into it because a lot of it's false okay you know okay. it's it's all about who you know you know okay yeah. instead of what you can do it's who you know yeah okay so tiana mm-hmm. how do you feel about these rankings like do you feel that it's legit i mean now a lot of these girls that are ranked boys that are ranked You've seen them or you played against them. Yeah. Right? Pretty much all of them. Uh, so do you think it's real? Like, do you think one is better than the other? Do you think this is something that they shouldn't do until you're a senior? Or should they do it as early as eighth grade and seventh seventh grade? Like, how do you feel about these rankings? I just feel like it's opinion based. It uh-huh. depends on who's writing or who's doing that website to yeah. make the rankings. Okay. And okay. So okay. okay. So let's say like the other black man said, if this guy cannot make it out 
to the games to see you, mm -hmm. do you think it's good enough to make a phone call to a, I don't know, club coach? No. Maybe the high, high school coach? No. So you think the only way a valid recruiting ranking or status or whatever, top five, if you're top ten, this person have to validate you by seeing you? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. So let's say he saw you on film. Let's say he called a coach and he was like, hey, coach, send me some film. And he evaluates you maybe off a few games. Not highlight tapes, but he was like, send me the game. Send me two or three games. To, Do you think that's good enough? To me, that would be a little, uh, it'll be a way better than going off so much of word of mouth. Okay. You know, because, all right, a lot of our kids are, you know, the folks that we know, Some most are pretty fortunate. Yeah. So, you know, they can, they can go out there and do their thing, and then they get the respect of a lot of other coaches. So they're in a good place. Yeah. But what about those kids who, per se, don't smile enough or, you know, mm -hmm. don't put on that good look getting for, in the roots. for, yeah, I for see someone? You. I see you, you getting know, in the so, roots. So now you got, like you said, you got coaches who don't, who don't like that kid. So let's say uh, Tiana, for instance, she she's at Sand Creek High School. Mm -hmm. You know, do your little thing or whatever. Scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> so she's at Sand Creek High School, and let's say, uh, let's just say a rival coach, uh, uh, school Vista Ridge or Falcon or yeah, something. Yeah. You know, let's say between those rival schools, it's constantly heated. Always. Always. Always heated. So they contact you know the Falcon coach. And he's like, they're asking him, and he, he's like, well, she don't smile a lot. And the reason why she's not smiling, because it's the rivals. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So she'll get a bad review, even though she may be good. So this is why I feel like the the videos, you know, more footage would be more acceptable. Okay. Then, you know, so you can you can take some word of mouth, but we still want to go off of uh, off of footage as well. You know, and again, I don't know the Falcon coach. I was just using an example, you know, or whatnot. So uh, okay, so do this. okay, so if we're gonna go off of that, do we should we put any thing into a ranker or evaluator? Like, what do they they need? Like, what should their status be to where even their ranking? Is valid. Should it just be like I was able to see see these kids? Is it I've been doing this for twenty five years? Uh, like what? Like what ground should they have to stand on for us to feel like oh, like these rankings are valid? Because we all know this, man. Because it starts yeah. even in the summer circuit on the outside. It starts in from shoot, bro. People are ranking first graders, bro. Like, yeah, like, bro. This it's is crazy. this is insane. This hmm. is insane. Like. Okay, some like you can't rank a first first grader, bro. Mm -hmm. If like if you aren't ranking, hey, who who's the fastest? It shouldn't even matter because that's about the only thing that you truly can define who's better in the first grade. No one know who's gonna be the best free throw shooter. Half of them can't even shoot the ball. Feel right. me? So so in my my eyes, what I like to look at is the evaluators in these uh, rankers. What's their background? Like, where's your bio at? Don't tell me that you're ranking ranking these kids off, man. Like this girl is six foot eight, yeah, that, and that's like, perfect. and she's just number one. That's the craziest crap I've ever seen, bro. Ever ever seen because time. I mean, now we've seen seen it. Yeah. Most of these, most like, now we could take it to the huge level. In the last, let's say, ten years, right? We consider the NBA the peak of the. Top, 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 top. Creme de la creme. Oh, right. So, who was the last center that was drafted that was great? That went number one. He was great. The last center. Give him to me. The last center? Center man. He went one. I'm trying to think of the recent guys. Let's not even bother. Yeah. Let's not even bother, bro. Because... The game has transitioned so so much. It's not a big man's game. It's a big guard's game that I could go that far. Maybe a forward's game, 
But it's not about the big men no more. Like the days of the Shaq getting Shaq, drafted, drafted number number one. Good question. I don't remember. Shaq. Right? I mean, now I'm just saying. Now, now this is off the top of my head. This is off the top yeah. of my head. It is Shaq. That's the last one, but I can't remember. <laughs> right? Yeah. Shaq came in the league before she was born. Yeah. Shaq retired damn near before she was born. <laughs> but yeah. Shit. Serious. I mean, oh, oh, okay, sorry. Aiden, yeah. I knew it was somebody down there. Okay. But he's the boo boo. See, he's see, boo -boo. that, thank y'all for everybody watching. Aiden is the only person I was waiting to come out of his, his mouth. Not solidified as great yet. Not solidified as great, but probably the best one. Yeah. He probably yeah. is the best one. Because even AD, like, I don't give him big man. Like, he's like a stretch four. Yeah, stretch he, four. He's kind of. Out on the wing, shooting, shooting threes, which is the evolution of the game. Well, what, what about which, um, old boy from Philly? Uh, Joel. Joel. Didn't go one. Did he go one? Dwight Howard. Dwight. Yeah, du Dwight. Dwight did yeah. go uno. And he was He good. did He was go. decent. He, shit, he was he's, killing he's for a while. Hall, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, I think, too. So, I'm not arguing. <laughs> Tiana, do you disagree? Oh, he went three? Dwight Howard went three? Dwight did. Dwight had went one. Didn't he go one? I, I thought he. I thought he went one. Oh. I well, I mean, I can't but I thought that Joel went like three. Hold on. Who rock? Was it Joel or Dwight, was it uh, it uh Dwight? Now which one of them? Dwight, Dwight went, went one. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, man. Like big things. Like now I might give him the last true. Back to the basket, yeah. center dude, number one. Came out of high school, highly highly rated, okay. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that a lot of these rankings that I see, it go off who the tallest kid. I'm like, Facts. like, is that what it is? Don't even matter. Bro, like, we've seen these kids play. And I'm like, that's not the best kid. Now, I wonder, is this person going off of uh, potential? Like, hey, but... Once a college get a hold of him, uh, he'll a lot he'll, of it is potential, you know. Like what so, they say that. Yeah, so what like, they ceiling. So in the eval or whatever, say like, don't be like, oh, top prospect in the state of Colorado, he's an automatic block. I'm like, nah, man. Say the man needs like he has the potential to be a great player or or she, whoever, because we all saw it, bro. Ashton was highly highly ranked, but let's be real, bro. We saw her play, bro. Did, did run, and I'm okay. not clowning on Premier or anybody that she was associated with. But my daughter was being recruited by Premier. She went out there. She played. She was gonna be used for some guard to pick and roll action to Ashton the whole time. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Like it wasn't something that I could really stick my foot with. I was like everybody else. I went to the Premier, the big the big time team that got the Nike uh. Spons sponsorship, yeah. right? So I'm like, okay, Tiana, let's get on this this circuit because the year before we saw it as a lower team that went to the Nike championships, yeah. and I, and I was like every other parent, nigga, like kind of all googly eyed. I was like, dang, now I want to get on the big floors, like, <laughs> oh god. So I didn't know of no other way to do it than to jump on one of those big teams. You're saying that uh, one said eight and average nineteen and twelve last season, solid numbers. Oh, yeah. very, very, very solid. Yeah, he played for Phoenix. So, so, so what? Shit. No, I'm joking. But uh, <laughs> uh, he said because she can match up with girls her size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true, that's, true. That's, yeah. True. And the But one of the biggest things that I saw was I saw Ashton play in the Nike Championships her junior year. And against girls her, her size, she didn't match up. Yeah. She was atrocious. She, uh, uh, y'all need to look up Sedona Prince. The girl ate her alive. She, she was a five-star recruit that went to Texas, didn't even get on the damn floor. She tore her ACL, and they basically dropped her. They had chose uh, Collier, this a girl that came in a year later. They pretty much told her, hey, we ain't going to wait on you. We're, like, we got another five-star that's coming in that we think is better than you. And she is. The girl got an all-around game. All-around game. I'm just saying that I saw why she got what she got. Man, look, bruh, 
And uh, two years ago, she played against Sand Creek. I got to bring it up. Cause, hold, on, hold on real quick. Yeah. I haven't brought that up yet, Mo. Yeah. We're going to do that on the next segment. I'll text you. I bet, bet. So, <laughs> so, so anyway, we are an undersized team. They consist of who was who was on that team? Bailey, uh, Rebecca. Nick, yeah, Bailey, Rebecca, Nikki. Like now, I'm talking about not a girl six foot tall. Yeah, not one girl six foot tall. They won the game. <laughs> they won the game, bro. They won the game. Like they beat a six foot, a true six six girl, a true six six. Like not now, you know how basketball do. You put your shoes on, and they give you two inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, in the words of uh, some other boy players, they give you eight inches. Eight. <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga. Like, he ain't even six foot. <laughs> they be lying about their height. <laughs> bruh, bruh, it's getting out of hand. Like, the college ain't going to see them. Like, come on. Like, they're like, okay, bro. You said you were six five, dude. You're six foot. <laughs> like, like what? They be but, lying all the time. Bro. Yeah. But anyway, so all of that. Is coming back to say that I don't put a lot into these rankings because I go see these players. Yeah, I mean, like rankings are rank, and I, and I understand that some parents get caught up in it too, which I believe that it reflects in that energy that they put off. It goes into their children. So when they get on the court, it's not just competition. They almost would rather see the other girl just fail because maybe they're behind her or feel me like it, like it's, they're afraid of competition. So yep. in, in retrospect, they're actually afraid of competition. So if you have a girl that's ranked eh, 13th, you know, in the state or yep. in the country, you know, they're going to come out like, like they the shit. And if someone that rivals them, yep. oh, man, that, that hate coming hard. Big time. Big time, right? Yeah, the parents' snobby attitudes. When they should be trying to grind together. Yeah. That's like weird, like weird to me, bro. Like we I should be get... like, hey, like they got you ranked number one. They got me three. Shoot, let's go on the same squad and just dominate. Feel me? Yeah. Like, like, let's just dominate. So, real quick. So, I have up uh, the Colorado Preps report. This this is pretty much our the Colorado guy that's connected to rivals, right? So, and uh, Tiana, she have a prep girls hoops. Two, probably, probably the two biggest rankings uh, here. Here, like, probably, probably the two biggest uh, so we're just gonna compare. We're we're just gonna compare on uh, Colorado Prep Report. You really can't hit the girl name and read like anything on her. Prep girl hoops, you can. You really can. So we can't really compare the evals or anything like that. But this isn't gonna be like we ain't gonna sit up here and go through the whole hundred or nothing like that. But we might go through the top twenty. Okay. So first off. Colorado Preps report the number one, and we're only going from 2021 down because the 2020s are done. I don't even want to talk talk about that group because most of them have a future yeah. set set in front of them. A lot of these girls, they do too, the 2021s. The top ones have offers or they've already committed and so on. Like, we, so don't wanna, on. we don't want to knock nobody, nobody. to where nobody. You know, we got folks watching that, you know, they – Get discouraged or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shy which, away. Yeah, and this, once again, our little disclaimer, two black guys with some table talk, it's an opinion-based podcast. That's Unless all we're doing. facts. Yeah, it's opinion-based. We ain't trying to belittle no one or discourage no child by no means, all right? So my number one, Tiana, for, from Colorado Preps Report, number one, they got Avery Van Sickle. She goes to Regis. The uh, point guard, and they got her at five nine. I think that's about right. She could be a little smaller. I don't think she's taller, but she could be a little little smaller. I think she didn't already committed to like Washington or something. It was the Huskies. What's the Huskies, Washington. bro? Yeah, Washington, yeah. Washington. Yep. And the girl can play, man. She got a a like a younger sister that's coming down the same same path. Like the little girl can ball. Uh, I mean, now, now I'm not gonna get into the weeds of of evaluating her game, but but I could see her being a one. I could see it, Tiana. So number one for Prep Girl Hoops, we have Addison O'Grady. Addison O'Grady, six three, um, power forward. See that? 
she's a six foot three power power forward with with a game that's like she has like a lot of uh post work that I would say. Uh she got a lot of things that she can improve on constantly because she's she's big. She I ain't like the her. biggest. I like her though. Do you? Yeah, okay. I like her. Yeah. Even though her motor wasn't the best when I saw her at that moment, yeah. but I like her game. And we've seen it like three times, yeah, though. I, I like her game, though, yo. Uh, okay. All right. All right, man. <laughs> I, I agree with them Good on one. that one Good as one. far as being number one. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. wait, wait. Yeah. Let not move too fast. Okay. I agree with it. Okay. So, number number two. We got Maya Whiteside, George Washington. At what? Number what? Number two. They got Maya at number two? Number two at 5'11". That sounds about right. Yo, that actually Maya? sounds... Maya? Maya Whiteside. Shout out to Maya. <laughs> What's up, girl? George. I <laughs> love George. All right, little George G-W. Washington. <laughs> right? So, now they got a... Basically, at a wing guard, basically what we would like to call a combo guard, but she kind of more like a forward in the way she play. Uh, now, when I say forward, like I'm talking about a small forward. Small she hits the glass. Yeah. Uh, she, she, she she got, got some back back to the back. Yeah, I, when I like she it. wanna wanna use. Yeah, it. when she wants, but she has a when, motor. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah, valid. So, I, I but they her. got her at two. Now, Ooh. is she a two? Ooh, okay, see, all right. See, I'm biased. Right. See, okay. So I'm being okay. honest. I'm biased okay. right there. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that Maya's number two. Yep. And I'm not going to dispute it, but I'm being I'm Bias. biased. Okay. So, so that's just that. honest. How? How? So that's honest. There's some <laughs> some girls. Yeah. Okay. There's some girls here. Tiana, hit us. Hit us, man. Loud and proud. Hit us. So number two, we have Peyton Muma, five nine point guard. Five nine point guard. The girl can go. Yeah. Now, that's Holland, Holland's Ranch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, that's Holland's Ranch. The girl can go. Not strong with the left hand, no. No, she's not. not. But, but she got a nice hezzy. But she, she learned a lot from, um, oh, girl. Girl, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Jenna. 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 Jenna that, talk. That's Jenna. She learned a lot from Jenna over there. You know, the like, Now, when you talking about a 2020 floor general, next year at Stanford, yeah. I expect her to be a freshman getting senior type time. Yes. Like, like not coming on the court for no two, three minutes. She's a dog. The, the girl is different. Yes. The girl is different. And I'm going to be honest. Just the inner me seeing it at first, I'm like, uh, white girl, is she really what everybody keeps saying? And I saw her dog a few times. I'm like. She the truth, bro. She the ball, man. She, she is the truth. Cause the go. first time I ever saw her, we was at a a uh uh camp, man. And uh when we was down in Texas, and I was talking shit like I always do. So I was like, Saren, man, now you got this shit. Because Saren was something that I knew to be like the shit yeah. here, right? She ate her ass up, she bruh. She's a baller, man. Bruh, she ate her up. She's just, just a dog, man. She is. Just a fucking dog. Just a fucking dog. All right, bruh. So, now is it on me, T? Yeah. Number three, Colorado Preps Report got Sydney Bevington from Ralston Valley. I've only seen this point guard one time. I don't, I don't, I don't remember think seeing her. her. I've seen her once, y'all. I've seen her once. I don't, I don't we was up there, and she was, she was, she was in a tournament, bro. She was good. Nothing special. I don't remember seeing her. And you know my rule. So we know that. You know that my rule. rule. I got a rule. Yeah. If I don't, I don't remember know. you. Yeah. Mm. 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 Maybe you're not. <laughs> mm. Like I don't know. I mean, now this state ain't big, so. I don't know you. I mean, and we know the players all the way out in Grand Junction, bro. Yeah. We know them, so I don't know. Go T, hit us. So number three is Kendall Weta, five nine point guard. Dog. I agree. Dog. Take a play. Dog, play. bro. I saw her my first time. She was in middle. She was in middle school, dog. I didn't whoop that. She played my baby, bro. Destroyed us. <laughs> Destroyed us, bro. Her and uh, Tina. <laughs> Yeah. Ran that full court trap on her, bro. She was so mad, bro. She had no help. Hello, isn't she from here? Oh, mm-hmm. oh, the Springs. Yes. Yeah, Speak right. on it again, bro. Yeah. Kendall's but we all here. know who's gonna take the credit. Yeah, we all know. Kendall is from Colorado Springs. 
I believe out in Falcon. No, nah, bro. Uh, yeah. now she went to uh Holmes, Holmes bro. Oh, yeah. Out okay. like over there by Coronado. Yeah, by Coronado. Yeah, area. yeah, yeah. Oh man, y'all missed out big Coronado. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Coach Earls, you missed out big, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number four. My list now got Addison O'Grady. Yours had an Uno, right? Yeah. Mine, for some reason, have her at four. See. So, is that about the same range? Or, or I mean, now, is I that mean, cool? One, one through five. four. But She's a top five? Yeah. That's yeah. That's easy. Not, that's easy. Not, if, if my child got fortunate enough, I wouldn't complain about okay. it. Okay. Question, though, T. Mm -hmm. What did your height have her at? Six, three. All right, good. Because so does mine. Okay. All right. So they just copied each other. Yeah. Number four. <laughs> Number four, T. Sydney Bevington, six foot point guard. Six foot point guard. Sydney Bevington. Mm mm mm. I don't now, think I know her. That's the one that we ju just spoke about, dog. That I saw her play up in the tournament. So my list had a three. They got a four. So that's about good, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that that have it because uh, you don't know at, her. At, yeah, gets. It. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't Viewers know her. pay little attention to this <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Viewers pay little attention to it. All right, so my number five, Tamaya, from Denver South. That's my number five. Do you think she's top so five? Tamaya's number five. Top five. They got her as a wing guard. Definitely a PG. A wing guard. Nothing else. Oh, this that that list is done. Fuck. Man. Really? God really? God Rivals man. is done. Yeah, man. <laughs> Rivals is just done like that. T Tamaya, a wing guard. Five, bro. She's number five. A wing guard. She's not bad. A wing guard. Okay, we'll go. Well, that's their mistake. She's a point guard. Some coach had did did this bullshit. Some coach had delivered Listen, out this. No bullshit. disrespect to Tamaya. She's a good player. She's a good decent player. No yeah. disrespect, but they got her. What? What'd you five. say? Five. five, five, and on here she's twelve. Woo! You see what I'm saying? There's a huge five, difference. Ooh. She was five four in here. There's a huge difference. Uh, no, not on mine. Yeah, she was five two. Yeah, mine had her five two. She's five four. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever cares? Whoever cares? So your number five is Avery Van Sickle. Avery. Five. Okay. So my number one. <laughs> Is her number five? <laughs> Maybe we should just group like if you are top five, then y'all all the number one. This fool, my homie. Sorry, my homie yeah. trying to say three for me. I'm as tall as Al my shoes off. Yeah, right, <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Height, height, yeah. height is crazy, bro. And hey, who's a Gonzaga commit? Payton. Jody Payton? No, no. Yeah, right, Payton, right? Yeah, Payton. Oh, Payton I is she was bro. going to um. Payton is right. Washington. No, no that's was. Avery. Yeah. No, right. Yeah, okay, damn. I'm getting them. I'm saying the wrong name. My bad. My man didn't get enough rest, man. He's tripping. He's tripping. All right, so my number six is Kendall. Kendall Wetter from Valor Christian. She's at, top five. At five. five I, like, I, like, huh? I like Top five? Top five. Yes, top five? She's top five. I would have. Hold been. on, hold on. So they got they got uh, Maya ahead of Kendall? Tamaya is in front of her. Damn. Tamaya is in front of her. Wow, bro, that's that's that, some excitement. So if I'm if I'm Kendall, I'm going at your goddamn head. Yeah, constantly. I got I got constantly to. just because of but the it's disrespect. the competition part, right? Right, like just you're in front of me. That's what I was talking about, bro. That's that's what these numbers do to the yeah, kids, bro. Man, that's what these good. numbers do, I mean, bro. In a, no, I like it as far as the kids part competing. Yeah, because you want kids to compete. Yeah, but you don't want parents. Competing, so if if I'm a top six and I see another top four, whatever, I'm not gonna look down on. It. I'm just like, yo, what's up? We made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or hey, how you doing? Give him that nod or some shit like that. Okay. Parents shouldn't be out here competing like that. Okay. But however, if I'm one of the kids, you know, competitive wise, I'm going at your head. Got it. So who is your number six? Courtney from Broomfield. Prep Girl so, Hoop says Courtney Winston? Winston or Worston? Winston. Yeah, Winston. 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 Uh, that's one that I ain't never, oh, never. Uh, 
Never, never seen play, bro. Who the hell is BB? What? We play BNB. Here. BNB is what? I don't even what know. Cool team is that? Boy, like, Boykins or something. Bad Boys Club. Anybody know what BNB is? Shit, shit. Club like, team? I don't know them. I don't know. You remember when we played them? I no, we played so many. She's clubs going to teams, Iowa I just too. Don't. No, she's going to uh, no, San Diego. San oh, Diego. I'm reading the wrong, wrong one. Wait, San wait, Diego. Diego. We did play them though. Yeah. With San our Diego. little girls. That's what's up. <laughs> and y'all struggle with them little girls. All right. So that was what for you? That was my six. So Number six. Say. So I'm on seven. Talia. The Pretrio or Patrilio? From, from, is that Grand Legacy. Legacy. From Legacy. Oh. From fucking Legacy. Damn, I don't Do you know, know her? I've never no. seen her. Now, I've seen him. I may have seen her, but I don't know. But I don't know you, though. Yeah. I don't know you. So, what does that mean? I, I got to recuse myself from that one. No. So, what does it mean? Stop being like that. It means if I don't know you, then you ain't shit. Thank but you. But apparently, she must be where she committed to. We don't know. Now, not on that what, one. I don't even see her on here. Not on, not on what, that what's one. What's the name again? Talia. Talia, Talia the Pretrio. I don't see her. Patrilio. Some shit. Bro, they don't. I don't. Oh, so they don't even got to see. They don't see? even have her. See? So give me your seven. Maya Whiteside. Okay, All Maya. Right. Maya for us made number Our two. Side is, le is legit. Oh, so you think yours is a. A little bit more valid. No, 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 no. A little more accurate? I, mean, I like, you know what I'm saying? I'm biased when it comes to Maya, so. Oh, okay. You know, so Maya's yeah. definitely top 10 for you. Yeah, she can yeah. be in top. She can be in top. Or do you got a top five, top two? Top like, 10. I'm trying to create some controversy here. Maya can be in top five. Okay, valid. She can like, be in top no five. one would argue that. Yeah, she can be in top But five. I think people would argue, like, top two, though. Top two? Yeah, yeah I can see myself arguing that, too. Okay, all right. All but right. she's in top five, so but okay. one through five is not so much of a huge difference to me. Okay, yeah. I mean, but I can see it because okay. um, the Grady Addison. I mean, I like her game, man. Okay, I like yeah. her, even though her motor wasn't there for me at the time. I seen spurts, but I like her game. Okay, uh, Maya, I like Maya's game too. Okay. You know, and I feel like she hustles, like you say, when she wants to, but she can go too. So, but however, I don't see her at number two. No, if I'm being honest. Okay, then good. Okay, you know, then. I want. I want her. That's a she could be. She could be five. Okay, that's or, open right yeah. there. But eh. okay, okay, good. So, you just said your number seven was Maya. Okay, now my number eight is some girl named Liberty. Line from Ponderosa. She just made me hungry. Oh, Liberty oh, yeah. Line, <laughs> Liberty <laughs> Line. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Know. Liberty Line. I don't, I don't, I don't know you. I mean, yeah, but I that's not to say that you well, can't what's, go. What school is she? Ponderosa, which is constantly well, we're be playing playoff. Ponderosa uh, this season. Yeah, Ponderosa should be on that on that schedule. Yeah, should should be. Hopefully, hopefully, because we because our conference is. Whack. Yeah, y'all boo-boo, man. Man, y'all garbage. Y'all garbage. Yeah, straight up. Garbage. All right, eight. <laughs> Our eight is Jenna Seibert. Seibert? Seibert. Goes to Valley Christian. Valley Christian. She's well, hardwood she, elite. She, 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 she's valid, bro. Okay. She is. She is. Uh, top 10, though, she kind of slow. But she could be top 10, I guess. You know? I mean, like, Valor just get a plus because when, when you go to Valor, like, it's like somehow you was related to Christian McCaffrey. So, so <laughs> like, so, so that gets you, like, bonus points. Like, just because you stepped you in the school. she's a big, Kate? She's a big? Yeah. Yeah, but she kind of. I think he was talking about the uh, the girl before, so. Oh, okay. Whoever, whoever we just had, we just talking about. Oh, mine? No, oh. uh, the one for you. Oh, Liberty? Yeah, Liberty. Liberty Line? Liberty Line. Wow, well, they only got it at 5'7". Well, I ain't yeah. never seen a big that 5'7". Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's not her. Uh, but right. carry on. All right, all right. Who was your eight? Oh, uh, oh so, so it's on me. Number nine. Colorado Preps Report. <laughs> Nikki Durrell. Sand Creek. 
Got her. Nick, you said at number nine? Got, yeah, got her at a wing guard. 5'7". At 5'7". <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> Motherfucker, what the shit? What? God damn, she ain't no 5'7". <laughs> oh, Bruh. my gosh. This is the shit <laughs> that, we, that I'm talking about all the time. It's not a benefit to lie you that much. Yo, like, it's not like a benefit. Five, one. I don't know, yo. Two. I'm going to say 5'2". Like, I need to get my measurement out. Like, I'm going to say 5'2". Because you know how we do. Like, we'll say, just go up to the base and I'm we'll gonna, say, get on this motherfucker. I'm going to say 5'2". And, and, and standing real tall, firm neck. Firm tall, neck, full five, stretched out. Three, mi- at with the most chiropractic, yeah, got a with, good with stretch. Your, yes. Yeah, got a got a full. Yeah, do I think she top ten though? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, hold, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Don't say do we think because they got goddamn Tamaya up there, and, and you telling me that Nikki can't be up there with her too? Nah, fuck that. If, if Tamaya's up there, Nikki should be up there. You're being overly aggressive right no, now. No, man, because it's a bullshit. <laughs> if Tamaya's up there, Nikki should be up there. Nikki, That's just facts. What, what? Like, no, no, I'm saying Nikki shouldn't be up there. Well, then, Tamaya but, shouldn't be up there. But I just, like I said, someone got to start the controversy. Someone has to start it. Man, that's some bullshit, oh, man. Okay, question, question. Do Tamaya play both ends? Yes. Yes, I've seen Tamaya. We've seen, seen her play yeah, plenty seen, of times. I've seen her getting somebody right. ass, too. Okay, yeah, good, like good, yeah. valid. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> somebody said five foot, Nikki five foot. All right, Chris Gunn. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. Speaking out, man. That's what this shit's about. Speaking out. Okay. So, do Nikki play both ends? Sometimes, when she wants. Okay. Can she play both ends? Yeah. Exactly. Yes, but, can. Okay, so there's can can she and do she? Can she and do she? I asked you, do Maya, you said yes. Yeah, Maya does. And we I just asked you about Nikki and you, you said she can. But I've, she seen, I've seen both sides of the I've when she both, wants to. I've seen both sides of them. But there there's a huge drop though. There there's a huge see, drop from from what what is five what is, to nine five to goddamn nine, and that's what I'm trying to say. So it's one through five. Like is that all? Just like y'all are all number one, because like the group seem to be so debatable. Like you could say, ah, oh, she's two. Ah, oh, she's four. Nah, man, she's four. Oh, she's one. Now we're going over it right here, and we see a one on your list was four, right? Mm-hmm. Was a four. So is that just some interchangeable shit? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, we, we're going to address this. Right? All right, comments. So, Kate go. says, go. Uh, Rob said, yes, she can. Then Kate says, tamaya has been one of the top scorers and assist leaders in the state and plays both in. Facts. Okay. All right. But do you really want me to break this shit down? Break it down, boy. Because <laughs> she ain't got a goddamn right. She go left Ooh. hard. Oh, wow. Like, let, let's there we go, up. bro. She go left hard every goddamn time. I love it. I love it. I mean, yeah, she can play. I love it. But she go left hard. All oh, bro, crazy too. She has like, bro, I mean, for me, I mean, like I said. I want to connect some like video film to only back up what the fuck you just said. And, because I mean, there's gonna be people that's out here uh, crying, oh man, now why they say that? Because uh, it's the fucking facts. The facts, man. Fucking facts. Like, bro, I've literally seen a girl completely open the fuck up. Like, mm-hmm. she said. Go right. Like, stood and there, right back and she left. said, in and out with the left, yes. and I, now I'm going to charge and run your ass over because I just cannot go right. Dynamic player, bro. She is dynamic. Like, I've never seen, like, outside of Lamar Odom, I ain't never seen no shit like her, bro. Like, just literally she could play with one hand. So, so Chris says, I'm assuming you're talking about uh, Nikki, right? He says she takes tons of plays off depending on the team she's playing against. Ooh. That's facts. Ooh. That's facts. And that's all. I've seen that, yeah. So, if you you want to be a D1 player, you gotta, play at you the gotta, next, gotta, next level. You got to do defense. Can you take plays off? Nah, you can't. Can you, you take can't. plays off? No. Nah. Well, why do you? Why do I? Yeah. yeah why do you take plays off? Yeah. You on the hot seat? Yeah, you. 
I don't take plays she, off. She take plays off. Frequently. <laughs> Frequently. No, Case. Like, hold on. Hold on. I want to address Case. He said, right or not, she has been a she has been a threat. She is a threat. That's not No one what is I'm saying, saying that. Yeah, she I'm, is dynamic as not, fuck. I am not she downplaying is. that she's not a good player. But I'm saying at ranked as high as she is and Nikki not there as well, I don't I don't agree with her being ranked that nine. high. Yeah, nine. Yeah. So Nikki nine. nine and Tamaya five. So yes. you don't agree with that. I don't I so, think they're I think they're well, close to each other. Closer than that. Yeah, that's that's what I think. So you would yeah. have like, let's say Tamaya six and Nikki seven. I can see that. that yeah. Oh, oh, so that I wouldn't can, bother you. It wouldn't bother me. Okay. Wouldn't bother all right, me. All but right. if we're being honest and breaking everyone down as far as their gameplay, like I said, no knock against Tamaya because the girl can ball. But she only go left. If we were to if we were to game plan against her, well, if I was to game plan against her, <laughs> I ain't talking about nobody else but me myself. We gonna stand on the whole left yeah. side of the court, That's all it. five of y'all. Just go stay, get goal line, stay in goal line, and get to this side. Correct. Just everybody get on this side. That's how I would. That's how I would guard her. Okay. And I would say, hey, shoot that tray. If if you gonna do it, yeah, hit it. Hit it. All right. I mean, valid, bro. Valid. But hey, congratulations, Maya, for being. Uh, number two. Maya. No, Maya was two. No, no, not and to, Maya was no, five. No, I'm talking about to Maya. Five. Maya five. Maya for being number five. Now, this right here compared is a huge, it's a huge, huge difference. Huge difference. All right, T. So, who was your nine? Megan. Pose? Pose? Po? Pa? P-O-H-S, y'all. P-O, P-O-H-S. Goes uh, to Mullen. Goes the mullet and the girl is low-key straight. Oh, we, it, we we have done her in. <laughs> we done played her from AU Club, some all that. She's a good, good player. She's she is good. I love it. Oh, 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 speak on it, man. Speak on it. Kate says she has been more of a factor than Nikki. Okay, I'll address that. And then he says Sand Creek also has one of the weakest schedule. That's Facts. That's no, you facts. Know, I agree with you. That Sandra is. She has one of the weakest schedules. I've been however, bitching about that for a whole however, year now. However, she has not been more of a factor than Nikki. No. Okay. Probably she has not. I. Was, so why? Hold on. So why are you saying that she hasn't? Like, so Nikki has put Sand Creek on her fucking back for years. And done what? Hey, man. I, like, what, hey, what are we talking first about? Round? First round. Bruh, but they bring 40 fucking eight teams to the first round. Hey, fucking whack ass hey, chassis. Well, well, how far has Sand Creek gotten? Last year. Well, last, last year was, year the, was the furthest since since no, when? Not, not, not this past season, the year before. They had a first round bye and an automatic second round bid. So first round bye, second round, round and, and caught a fade at home to yo alma mater, That's some to, bullshit well, ass style. What school they lose to? A now? horse. Nah, to the fucking style. A horse. No disrespect. <laughs> a horse. <laughs> oh, okay. But I agree with... Man, thank y'all for the comments, man. Straight up. Because <laughs> Nah, we shit, want feedback, man. Yeah, no, hey. This shit is about being truthful, yeah, we, man. We have fun, y'all. Shouldn't nobody be up in their feelings about nah, none of this shit. Because yeah. I know people critique our kids all the fucking time. All the time. And I want it because half of it is the fucking truth. Yeah. Shit. It, it is what it is. Shit, fuck it. All okay, right. so he says she's done more against quality teams. That's why he's saying. Okay, okay bet, not bet. Here. I now where I can't argue it. that one because I ain't okay. seen all her teams, like all the teams that she all done right, played. There you go. I mean, but we did see her single handedly beat George. Yeah, she put them on the. Uh, she did uh, she was, beat George. Uh, yes, uh, left handed bandit. Bandit. <laughs> she, <laughs> she said. <laughs> <laughs> Then she went to the line and told yeah. him to shut up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When, she, when she backed up, Back, hold on, when she yeah. backed up and was like waiting on him, like, uh, and then they finally come out and then yeah. she went and dusted past him, went up for the layup and then turned around and did this shit. Flexed right on him. She flexed on him. Yeah, I like that. And I love how she <laughs> hit the game when it free free throw and turned and said, This is my house. Yeah, like, that's oh, when she said that shit. shit. Oh, man. She was in George. In and George. She said, she said, This, this is, is my house. house. Wow. I love yeah. that shit. The level of disrespect was great. <laughs> great. Okay, so last thing, just the top 10 then, y'all, because there's a few more topics. Uh, and my last one is Mapaya Irvin. I don't know her. She go to... Uh, Mube, Mube? Yeah, Wheat, Mube? Wheat Ridge. She's another 
They said a wing guard at five four. I don't know what this wing guard she is. She played for a B. No, that's not the right one, is it? Oh, this nah. is my team. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And T, your top ten. Casey Kyle goes Cherry Creek. Yeah, yeah, straight, straight player. I don't think I've seen. She that. played with BC Denver, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to remember. But yes. I don't remember. Straight. I mean, decent. Well, you know how they are. Robots, <laughs> Princeton. <laughs> Say it. Yeah. Hey man, all of them listen, are. Listen, Ranch, hold on, where's robots. where's Nikki on that? You're nine. She's nine. She's sixteen here. Where's Tamaya? Five. Five. She's twelve, 12 here. here. All right. So I wouldn't trip. So it's about the that. same ratio though. Yeah. It's close. It's close. It's close. <laughs> Stop. Stop. All right, y'all. That was it. So leave your comments. Give us your opinions. Fuck your comments. Hey, they do. Nikki is <laughs> Nikki is a good player. Give me and Tamiya is a good player to, as Tamiya. well. Tamiya is a good player as well. And you're right. They do have different games. Yeah. You know, I'm not comparing. We're not comparing them both because they completely have different games. Totally. All I was saying, the rankings, they had her at. Uh, Who? They had, Who? They had Tamiya, Tamiya five. at five. And then uh, Nikki at nine. at nine. I would like to see them. For me, personally, if, a little closer to each other, if so. And I would love it if you rankers would start putting down her real fucking name. Yeah. Her real, name's real, not Nikki. Real Y'all, real like, like y'all got to gain the respect for that shit to call her Nikki. And I'm not even going to say it because I want y'all to look that shit up. Yeah, her name Find is that shit Aliana. Up. Aliana. Damn. Damn. <laughs> y'all, you shouldn't have said it, man. Fuck that. All right. So, next topic. All right. Tiana, she wanted to bring, bring, bring up some shit. You know what I mean? So, let's talk about the Chassel rules in a round aspect. First one, trans transfer rule. Tiana, how do you feel about it? I mean, I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, I do agree that you should be close to a school or, like, move. Or how How is there a rule? So, to transfer, you have to be in that area to yes. play. So, for year. it to be a legit move, which is their term, a legit move. It needs to be you actually moved. You physically are either living with someone else or your parents or your guardians, whoever got up and moved to another area before you can play. If you played varsity for your prior school, I don't know if, if there's a time restraint. Like, I don't know if it's you played a quarter or you played a second. I don't know. But I think, I think it's if you if you played a game of varsity, you so stuck. it's a game. Yeah. Uh, if, okay. If you, so you're stuck. So Tiana, so you got girls who mm -hmm. want to transfer to Sand Sand Creek, right? Yes. But they play varsity at their last school. And do you think they should be able to play? And if you do, then why do you think they should be able to play? And they didn't have a legit move. Like let's mm -hmm. just say the last school, maybe they don't got the classes that they want no more. Maybe. They don't like the kids there no more. How do you feel about that? I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I, I don't know. What do you, what do you think? Cause I, I just don't. I, look, man, look. <laughs> Can't be on a show if you ain't gonna fucking talk. Okay. She's getting on my nerves. Listen, okay, listen, look. We, the producers, us, we try to get our kids on a set, and then they're doing the shit right here. See, y'all, this is called that shit. They're doing that shit. Yeah, that shit. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to speak on it from behalf of the adults, of a parent. Hold on, he said if you played. Okay, so, if you so played, is it just one second? One, yeah, one second or a whole game. Huh, Kate? Yeah, so look. Now this is my 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 opinion. Is now this place is a lot more lenient than Texas was. Chris said if your name is in the book for a varsity game. Ooh, oh, so shit. Ooh, God, so you don't even got to get on the court. <laughs> so a coach could just screw you. <laughs> they done literally gave these coaches the power to screw over these minors. Oh, these say, damn hey, kids. Hey, Kiana, you want to be here? But anyways, yeah. Uh, Kiana said, I played about 40 minutes my whole freshman year in varsity. Yeah. And transferred. Couldn't play the whole year. Damn. Damn, Cold Key. Cold-blooded. Key. Now, that sucked. You had a good-ass year, too, Key. Decent. Decent. You deserve more accolades, yeah. but uh, a certain person said they were fighting for y'all and then shit happened. But whatever. Um, 
So, so look, man. There's no way these kids should not be able to move schools if the coaches can move schools. If the coach can up and bounce, so can a kid. Period. Period, yeah. bro. Period. If these kids need to go to a better school that's going to give them a better opportunity, why not let them do that? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I understand all the little recruiting bullshit that y'all be hating on, like all these other people. Oh, man, he ain't a feeder program. I ain't never even heard of that shit till I came to this state. But, bruh, if a group of kids been playing together forever and they want to group up to hoop, let, let them go it. hoop. Yeah. I don't care. Shit, now it's I just a see game. Some excitement, anyways. It, yeah, shit. That I'd rather rather see them than see a group of kids that ain't never played play together with a coach that don't know what the hell they doing trying to build build a decent program. It's it's so going stupid. to a game. Look stupid. Have to look at my phone because the game's whack. Now we done that. God damn man. After spending my goddamn five dollars. <laughs> shit, man. Oh man. Next. Chassel rule. We all saw the update. I hope everybody is using social media correctly. Log on to Twitter. Follow them motherfuckers. Because they came out with the whole, now for the deceiving next year, we doing the RPI plus the coaches poll in Max Max Preps ranking. What the fuck? Bro, you need to express to me when Max Preps is here watching these kid, kids play. Because I seen them show up for us. It was in the game we lost. <laughs> City. God damn it, man. God, bro. That, God, that God, look. Y'all hurt my feelings. That if you plan on watching us for one game late in the playoffs or mid playoffs, that's not valid, bro. Like you, like there's no way that you should hold that kind of pull in ranking these kids for the seating. Me and a guy, I don't even want to say his name because I feel like that would be giving him some, like some kind of plug. But he was some voter writer guy, and me and him would get into it. Every weekend, the dude shitted on Sand Creek every fucking week. Every fucking week, bro. It was, why are, why are they up there? Mullen, Mullen is the best. There's nobody that can beat, beat Mullen. Like Ryan Seacrest or some shit like that? Some bullshit, yeah, but man, we do know him. that is Ryan. But we bitch, and I bitch with this dude all the time. And so I said, why not come with solutions, bro? Like, like you just can't keep on saying... The system's broke. The system's broke. So you got to be a part of the solution, man. Like, you're a part of the problem. You're literally like the rest of these parents mad as hell that Sand, Sand Creek is ranked. And every single one of y'all is like, they ain't play nobody. But, they ain't play nobody. All they can do, all these kids can do is play who the fuck they coach schedules, bro. It ain't their fault. That's it. That's it all fault. these kids can do, bro. Tiana, how did you feel last year hearing that y'all didn't deserve to be the number one seed? In my opinion, I felt like we did deserve it. We were whooping teams. Yeah. And I don't know why people thought we didn't. Maybe because last year we weren't ranked high. Yeah. And Mullen, they won. So a lot of people think they're number one. They're going to win it again because their players returned. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Without seeing y'all play, though. Yeah. Like, these were people that did not see y'all play. They, yeah. Now, they saw Mullen play. I give them credit because they're in, in Denver. So Do you know what? We got I saw Mullen, Mullen too. Sorry to cut you off. We got a comment that said it's the AD, not the coach. And, Joe, we're talking about Chassa right now. But um, <clears throat> he said it's, Ross said it's the AD, not the coach. Okay, so, Joe, so you're telling me that the coach don't have no say in a schedule? So, no, it's Rob. It's huh? Not, 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 um, not Joe. Oh, okay, Rob. Rob. Yeah. So, 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 Rob, so, so you're saying that there's – no say that the coach ain't on the phone. Hey, Cherry Creek, do y'all want to play? We can do a one one and one or whatever, bro. Whatever. Because I'm looking at Cherry Creek come down here and play goddamn St. Mary's. You can't tell me that's the AD doing at St. Mary's. Like, you can't like you can't tell me that AD said, Cherry Creek, five, big 5A school, come, come possibly lose to the number one 3A team. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? They smacked him, too. Bro. Bro, please, man. Like, look, bro. Like, the coach has some say, bro. Like, the coach has some say on who the fuck they play. Because there's other there's other teams that I know for a fact that I spoke to the coaches. And they've been like, I would love to play Sand, Sand Creek, bro. 
But yeah, we knew a couple schools. But that you know, Sand Creek. And I'm just gonna say it. They were blaming the coach. He like, said, like she don't want it. He said AD thinking about the budget. What budget though? Bro, we are paying. <laughs> like, someone need to let me. Look, now I'm not asking to be the accountant or the financial dude, whatever. But someone need to let me know why the fuck are we paying for these kids to play then? If y'all are so worried about a goddamn budget. Oh. Like, well, Chris says, not true for all coaches. I can pick teams to play. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris <laughs> Gunn. Right Spit the facts, bro. Spit the facts. Thank you, right, because I've had, had had multiple <laughs> multiple coaches tell me that they want to play us, but we don't play them. So I'm like, damn, like, yeah, like, slice. like it would be great to play play whoever, man. Like, <laughs> like honestly, with the girls that we have, this is a huge wink, wink. If we're a hundred percent healthy, that I'm trying to play five A's, man. Fuck it. Because Mullen is so fortunate, nothing against them. They're in they a should. 5A conference. Every team other than them is 5A. So the RPI actually just strengthens them even when they play bombs in a conference. Even the bombs are like put on this better equation, blah, blah, blah. Now, I saw it, and I look, looked at it, and we did it up. We, we looked at that RPI shit for a long time. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I low-key liked it. Yeah. There's a lot of people that hate it, but I kind of kind of liked it because the strength of schedule, I think, is important because so many teams are a yeah. surprises every fucking year. He said, look at all D49 schedule. They're all about the same. <clears throat> yeah, right? Yeah. It, now, now, one of the biggest things to me is just the, the actual kids in the teams because we all see the preseason rankings and shit, too. They all wrong. They all... They, 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 the, I didn't see many that was right. Now, I... Now the one that I didn't look at was the Cherry Creek um, Grandview Conference. Like now, I never saw their pre preseason ranking, but I could go back and look at it now. But I know for us, we was predicted to get third. Third, uh, Kylie was predicted to get the MVP. Air Air Academy was was predicted to win win the conference. Man, the only shit they had got right was fucking Vista Ridge. They fucking sucked. That was the only thing right. It was the only and it and I went through all of them from Sierras that I went through everybody. They were wrong about every single one of them. Off the RPI, they don't start truly at zero zero zero, y'all. Like y'all need to look it up, man. That it just doesn't. It just doesn't. So the surprise teams. So when you think you are gonna play a bomb and they turn out being oh. good, that RPI helps you, bro. I miss because. Because, like, Golden, Golden was supposed to be really good because they had that one girl, and we went and smacked her around, and she she tried to fight, like, somebody randomly. Oh, no. She, like, she ran after to, the game. Uh, oh, Lee. no, man. Now, that guest, man, don't be exposing no, our what, guests, no, I'm bro. Saying, I'm not. I'm saying that's what she ran into, and it pissed me the fuck off. Good. Like, fuck you, little bitch. Thank like, you. Hey, man, what time were you touching? In, in her family. Yeah, in her family. Her family, there. too. Yeah, her family, like, like yeah. Them. Right? See, man, fucked up shit. Joe said uh, some 5A schools <laughs> won't play 4A schools. Facts, Joe. Yeah. Facts, Joe. And that's why I'm saying, Joe, they need to get on the fucking phone, bro, that you got to, like, m like m just bother these motherfuckers because that's the only way that these 4A schools are going to get any respect because I don't care what anybody say. The 5A schools here, maybe they're better because of the amount of children that they have to choose from, but I've been seeing some 4A teams that would smack. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Last, like the year before, that Lewis Palmer boys team was the best team in this fucking state. Like, they were better than the 5A five, five, mm -hmm. champs, the 3A champs, but everybody was talking like the 5A, what, Range View or who, whoever won it was truly yeah. the best team. I was like, Before, did uh, y'all see Palmer, that 4A team play? They were stacked. Smacking man. fools, man. <laughs> they were stacked. Smacking <laughs> fools, but they don't get the respect because they're 4A. Like, that means something. Like, yeah. it really, like, means something. But whatever, man. So... We about to end this first first segment, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. But we hey, got some quick tuned. some quick quick hitters. Real, real, real quick. Now, this is my favorite shit to do. All right, y'all. First one. Give me give me your best concession stand. Sierra. Valor Christian. What? That I'm going. Like, I kinda like Doherty's, fool. 
No. Pretzel is fire. No. Uh, pretzel is fire, bro. <laughs> pretzel no. is fire. They got the softest pretzel, bro. Like, everybody else shit is whack, bro. Everybody else. They, it be, Sand Creek, y'all are actually pretty strong too, but y'all be tripping a bit, like salt in my shit, man. No, they, they, like, they I got high blood good. pressure, man. I love that salt in the popcorn. No, oh my bro, gosh. The crystals of salt on my pretzel is fucking ridiculous. Like, it is so <laughs> big. I'm like, where did y'all dip this shit in? Shit is crazy. And it ain't butter, bro. Hey, let's go, Stallions. Oh my God, bro. Okay. <laughs> we had a, a comment from our last video, and it was a quick thing. The dude loved it. Thank you. The respect. For all the comments, bro, appreciate it. But he had a question. He he asked, is going for 100 points padding your stats? Go. Nope. Simple. Nope. Simple. So so this is how, how I explain it. So you got you got your squad, you got your you got your starters. So normally you take out your starters and then you play anybody else that come off the bench. So you you think it's padding stats? Joe said yeah. Pablo West. Betcha says she said. You shit, y'all. <laughs> I forgot about that shit, bro. Hey, Chris said Sierra. There you go. Oh, right my there. God. <laughs> go, but, go, 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 go. So, uh, people coming off the bench, do you want them to hold the goddamn ball? Or do you want them to keep playing? Because I want, if my kid came off the bench, I want them to give give, give everything they got so they keep playing. So, yeah. therefore, you're not padding the stats. Yeah, all right? Yeah. Everybody got to get to play. They went to practice, so they, just, you know, when they get into that game time, they finally get in. Shoot, they need to play. Play. So no padded stats. Tiana? I say no. Why? I, I feel like, well, me, I always want to try to beat a school record uh -huh. for how many points. And I don't know what San Creek is. Yeah. But I know hitting 100, like Kiana always said, we want to make history for that school. Yeah. So that, that was always our goal, but we were always stopped from that from reaching your goal huh okay now look now i'm gonna end it just just like this i can understand when these coaches are worried about the other kids feelings and uh maybe how the gazette is gonna write weird the shit on them and, that Ryan and uh in uh in any news people that come but you know like i watch like all the highlights up on the news and i have yet to hear one sports broad broadcaster say Dang, y'all know what? Sierra is so, so wrong for destroying Canyon City by 50. Like, I've never seen that. It's you fucking writers, bro. Like, y'all go back and get sensitive as hell because y'all fucking sucked. Because y'all were garbage. Y'all were fucking the, none. That's why the none. coaches be switching up the shit because they don't want all the criticism. Criticism, yeah, yeah. Like, this is a competitive sport. I will never tell a child that works their ass off just as much as the starters, just as much as the people getting 24 minutes of fucking game. They go to practice and work their ass, ass off too. They run into them screens. They run horses, suicides, whatever you, you want to call them. I prefer suicides. They do all the lifting weights and all that to get the time to play the fucking game. You don't tell them to hold a fucking ball for no fucking reason. For no reason. They deserve to play those kids deserve to play. Now it's different if, like, if y'all are up up by sixty, don't keep your starters in. Don't keep your starters. Now in. that's yeah. not a reason to do it and be selfish, Tiana, because you want to go for your goal. But damn it, I'm putting in the Sadies. That I'm putting in everybody that don't play, and I'm like get buckets because every time I saw one of those girls score, the fucking gym went crazy because we understood that child does not get the same time as these starters win or lose, they still don't get that time and you should let them fucking play, bro. Chris Gunn said Mitchell by 97. God damn. Ooh. God damn. God Hold on. Damn. Mitchell won by 97. No, they lost by 97. <laughs> and nobody came to your back, bro, like, hey, man, why they lose? No, no, no. No, I remember this. I think Sierra beat Mitchell. Yeah. And and then they try to they try to get Chris to uh snitch on Joe. They to to you know say something bad about Joe. I, I remember that because it, it was some kind of whack ass article back then. Wasn't it whack? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Wasn't it whack? Well listen, y'all. Well that's it for this episode. We appreciate it. Keep watching. Two black guys with table talk. Holla. Holla.